favorites. Why? Why? Why do I always forget the month of my favorites? I don't know. Anyways, this month is April, so I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I have been loving for the month of April. And like always, I really want to see your guys' April favorites, so you can leave it in a video response below, or you can Instagram it to me, or something like that. And I'm really excited to show you guys my favorites this month because I just love everything and I want you guys to know about it. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so my first favorite for the month of April has been my Milani Baked Bronzer that looks like this. So I have been using this bronzer so much because it has like gold veining in it. So I don't really use it as a bronzer because if I used it all over my face... I'd probably look like a disco ball and I don't want to look like a disco ball so I just apply it as like blush and it gives me an amazing glow to my face so I've been using this a lot for April get it right Bethany get it right okay my second favorite for April that I have been using so much is this Milani brow kit and it's the brow fix brow kit so it has a little highlighter for your eyebrows and it has a light brown and a dark brown eyebrow powder so I have been using this for my brows and it's like its own cute little kit it came with tweezers and an eyeliner brush but I lost them next I have been using this product like crazy it's kind of insane the Tarte BB cream so I have tried many different BB creams and you guys know this and this is my favorite one right now because I've noticed that most drugstore BB creams tend to be a little bit lighter and they don't really give you as much coverage and this one gives me a lot of coverage which I love it also has a 12 hour primer it's buildable coverage oil free moisturizer pore minimizer skin brightener and it's a chemical free sun protector so this protects my skin from the sun because it has been getting so sunny out lately and I love it so I definitely recommend this product if you're looking for a good BB cream and I lost the cap, so it just got all over my fingers. My favorite mascara for April has been the L'Oreal Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara. And I actually started using this because I ran out of my favorite mascara. And I just found this one that I hadn't really used that much. And I pulled it out and started using it. And I was like, oh, I really like this mascara. It makes them super long. And it fills them in. It kind of clumps like a tiny bit, but it's not a really bad clump. It's kind of like a good clump. I never thought there could be a good clump. I don't know. I like it. And I think it's pretty sweet. So I've been using this a lot on my lashes. Don't worry, I didn't break it. <laughs> okay, and for my lippies, I've been using this lip butter by Revlon. It is in the shade Sorbet. And just by looking at the packaging, you can already tell that this is a super bright and fun color for spring and summer. And this is what it looks like. It's super bright and I love it. It reminds me of like watermelon and strawberries. So I've been wearing this on my lips. Oh, and I also really like this one in the lip butters. This is the one I'm wearing right now. It's Wild Watermelon. Look at this, you guys. It's just like a bright reddish pink and it is one of the prettiest colors that I have in my lip product collection so I really like this one too. Both of these I just love to death and they're like my go-to lip colors right now so I've been wearing those like crazy. Okay now if you guys follow me on Instagram then you probably know about these already but I have been obsessed with using the Sally Hansen Salon Effects little stick on nail things and what I do is I pick out one and I put them on my ring finger and then I paint the rest of my nails just one solid color. So this one is the one I'm wearing right now it's called Girl Flower. So that's kind of just like my new thing right now that I'm really into because it looks like really professional. People have asked me like did you get your nails done at the salon? I'm like no I did it myself. Because fun fact, I absolutely hate going to nail salons because it just feels like they're torturing me. I don't know why. I don't like people to clip my nails or file my nails or like push back my ugh, cuticles. And my last favorite beauty product for April is my Body Splash by Victoria's Secret. This is the Mango Temptation and I have been wearing this all the time recently because when it gets hotter outside, I don't know why, but I kind of like to switch to body splashes and body mist instead of perfumes because I don't know why. It's kind of weird. But this one smells so perfect like oh <coughs> I, I think I just like burnt my nostrils I literally taste perfume in my throat right now this is disgusting but I just like to spray this all over and it makes me smell good all day so this is what I have been smelling like 24 7 recently okay so those are all of my favorite beauty products for April and now we have the non-beauty favorites okay first off can we just talk about 
my obsession with beanies recently. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know about my obsession with beanies. I wear them all the time. They are perfect if you're having a bad hair day. Just slip on a beanie and it looks super cute and you just did nothing. I really like the Brandy Melville beanies like this one because they have little quotes. This one says, you can't sit with us, which is kind of mean, but if you know like the reference, it's from Mean Girls, so it's just funny to me. But obviously, you guys can sit with me because you're just awesome. So yeah, I really like this one, but the one thing about Brandy Melville beanies is they're really, really thick, so they're kind of better for like fall and winter time when it's actually cold outside. But for the spring, I have been getting so many Neff beanies. These are really, really thin and lightweight. It literally feels like you're not even wearing anything on your head because they're so light. And speaking of hair accessories, I've really been into these little bow hair ties. I got these at Brandy Melville and I showed them in my last video. So they just look like this. And I am obsessed with bows, you guys already know that. But recently I've just been wearing my hair half up, half down with a little bow. And I think it's really cute and it's a nice way to get your hair out of your face. But still make it look really cute and adorable. Okay, one more fashion favorite. These shorts have been... Basically my addiction, they're from Brandy Melville, and they are little sunflower shorts. When I first saw these, I was like, are those pajamas? But I figured out that they are not pajamas, and you can actually wear them in public. And the thing about these guys, they're so comfortable. Like, I'm not even joking, it feels like you're wearing pajamas. But if you wear them with, like, a sweater and some cute shoes, and you kind of dress it up, it looks really cute. So I have been addicted to these, and this is my only pair, so I kind of want to get a black pair. Because if I wear these, like, three days in a row, people will know notice but if I wear like a black pair people won't really notice so yeah I've been wearing these a lot they're from Brandy Melville and I'm obsessed with them and my next favorite Okay, so if you guys are not aware, Baja Blast Freezes from Taco Bell are basically the most amazing frozen drink ever. And those are definitely one of my favorites for April. But I also recently discovered the Pink Lemonade Freezes, which are just as good as Baja Blast Freeze. They're just both amazing. So I definitely recommend trying one of the two because they're so good. And speaking of drinks, I've also been loving the green tea ice lattes from Starbucks. I love the green tea frappuccinos, but when I tried the green tea ice latte, oh, I just, I don't think I will ever get a green tea frappuccino again because the green tea lattes are so good. Oh, and another Starbucks drink that I've really been into, I feel like I have so many favorite drinks this month, but it is the cotton candy frappuccino from Starbucks, and I showed it on my keek, but basically it's just vanilla bean frappuccino with a pump of raspberry, and it tastes, I'm not even kidding you guys, like cotton candy. Like, are you kidding me? That's just, it's perfect. So those are my four favorite drinks this month. I don't know why I have so many favorite beverages, but uh, yeah. Okay, so now it is time for my favorite songs of the month. Here's my phone case. I got a new one and it's floral. Whee! Okay, so my first favorite song of the month, I've actually been listening to a lot of Casey Moosegraves. I don't know if that's how you say her name. Anyways, her new album is absolutely amazing and I love all the songs on it, but my favorite two songs from her album would probably be Keep It To Yourself and Silver Lining and Follow Your Arrow. Okay, I have three favorite songs from her new album and they are just awesome. If you've never heard of her, then definitely check her out. I'll have links to my favorite songs from her down below. Another one of my favorite songs for April that I've been listening to like crazy is Stubborn Love by The Lumineers. The Way by Ariana Grande featuring Mac Miller. Okay, I actually didn't listen to that song that much in the beginning. I just wasn't really into it. And then I started hearing it on the radio and listening to it more. And then I became addicted to this song. Ooh, and Fall Down by Will I Am and Miley Cyrus. O M to the G. I love it. I love that song. It just makes me want to get up and dance. Actually, I do get up and dance to it all the time because it's so good. So yeah, those are all my favorite songs for the month of April, and let me know what your favorite songs are below because I want to download some new ones. And like last month, I'm actually going to be giving away some of my favorites this month because I just think it's really fun to give one person out there some of my favorite things for the month. So I'm going to be giving away the Milani Baked Bronzer, but this is obviously a brand new one. And you're also going to get the Revlon Lip Butter and Sorbet, the Telescopic Mascara, and one of the little Sally Hansen nail stickers because they're amazing. So you're going to get the same one that I'm actually wearing right now, and a little hair bow from Brandy Melville. So if you want to win some of my favorites this month, all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up and add it to your favorites, and then just leave a comment below telling me what some of your favorites are for April, and then I'm just going to pick a random winner. So I hope you guys enjoyed my April favorites, and I'm going to go. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Got my drink. Baby, you got me. 
I got a bad boy, I must admit it. Hey, yo. Call mom. Call mom. Mom! What? Calling mom. I phone. Can you bring me my Baja Blast? Hi. Sassy mix, sassafras. Okay, so my first favorite song of the month, I've actually been eating. <gasps> oh, okay. Hmm. Uh -huh. I don't know where I just got that from. I think it was like an episode of Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Oh my gosh, Disney Channel, Throwback Thursday, Wednesday. Is today Wednesday? weird I'm sorry but April is now over so I'm gonna be showing you guys my favorite things for the month of April I have makeup products hair products and just like some random things because you guys know I always have to have random things in my favorites videos and yeah so I'm really excited for this video I don't know what it is but something about favorites videos I just love so much and like I always say I really want to know what your favorites are so be sure to leave a video response below of your April favorites or if you don't like to make videos then just go ahead and leave a comment and let me know what some of your favorite things for April were and I will be sure to read them because I love reading your guys comments so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get into my April favorites because I have like this little table right here and it has like all my favorites on it so yeah so my first favorite for April is something that I've like mentioned to you guys a million times but I just had to put it in this video I feel like it deserves a spot in every one of my favorite videos but it is the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream, which I purchased this, like, I don't know, two or three months ago, and I am in love with this stuff. You can tell, like, basically there's no more foundation here. Like, there's a tiny bit. I've literally been squeezing this as much as I can just to get out some foundation because it's almost all gone. So I definitely recommend this if you want something that's going to give your skin coverage and kind of cover up acne or redness, but it's still going to feel really light, like you're not even wearing anything on your skin, this is the product to check out. So of course I had to put that in my video this month. Okay, and my next favorite is actually an eyebrow product, and oh my gosh, you guys, I just got my eyebrows waxed for the first time like two weeks ago, and I was seriously so scared. Like, I've been putting it off for like a year because I was so terrified of like getting my eyebrows waxed because it just seemed so painful. Like, come on, applying wax to your face and ripping it off like that just sounds so horrifying so I never got my eyebrows waxed but then I finally went in and got them done in Ulta and I love them so if you're out there and you're scared of getting your eyebrows waxed seriously just do it you will be so in love with the results and if I can do it then you can do it because you definitely will not regret it once you get it done but right after I got my eyebrows waxed I actually went to Sephora and I picked up this eyebrow pencil from Anastasia and it is in the shade soft brown so you can tell it's just a soft brown color so I just like to use this to fill in the little bald spots in my eyebrows and it works so well it's literally amazing and then I just use the spoolie side just to kind of like blend the color and also shape my brows how I want them so this is an amazing product and I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a good brow filler I love this one okay the next product is a lip gloss and this is my favorite lip gloss right now it is by L'Oreal and it is the color rich Le gloss, Le gloss. Oh, that's fancy. Um, but it is in the shade Pink Amethyst. It is so pretty. It's just like this kind of rosy pink color and it has like gold shimmer in it. It's so gorgeous. I really just love the color that it gives to my lips. It's so moisturizing. It's not very sticky at all and it smells like caramel. Oh my gosh. If you own one of these and you've never smelt it, then I want you to smell it and let me know if you think it smells like caramel. Maybe that's just me, but seriously, it smells so good. My favorite eyeshadow for April is another L'Oreal product, and it is the Infallible Eyeshadow in Pink Sapphire. So as you can see, it's not super pink. It's kind of like a rusty kind of rosy pink color and what I like to do with this is after I do my eye makeup like if I do like gold and like brown in the crease I'll take a little bit of this pink color and dab it on my lids and it looks so pretty this is perfect if you're like me and you don't like to wear that much color on your eyes but you don't want to just have like brown and gold you want to have something a little bit more fun this is what I've been using to kind of give my eyeshadow a little bit more umph I guess but I think it's amazing and I definitely recommend that eyeshadow. Okay, and these are two products that I just discovered in April and I really, really love them. It's the Revlon Photo Ready Pinched like Cream Blushes. And you guys know I'm a huge fan of cream blush, especially in the summertime because it just lasts all day. So this one is in the shade Coral Reef and this is like my favorite blush color right now. <gasps> it's so pretty. And then the other one is in the shade Pinched. 
And this one is kind of just like a light peachy color. It has a tiny bit of shimmer, which I love. But overall, I definitely recommend these two products if you're looking for a good cream blush because they last a long time and they're also photo ready. So they're like formulated for like taking pictures and stuff. And they're also just very easy to blend because most cream blushes are like very hard for me to blend. But these ones aren't. So I definitely have been loving those blushes. Okay, and my next favorite for April is probably one of the things that I'm most excited about for this video, and it is my new found love, the Falsies Mascara by Maybelline. I know that a lot of people use this, and it's been out for quite a while, but I actually never used it. I purchased it when it first came out. I used it, and I just did not like it at all, but recently I purchased it, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to give it another try, and I'm in love with this mascara. So this is actually the Falsies Flared, so I don't think it's the original, it's like a newer one. But I really love the brush of this because it's kind of like curved, it like goes inwards, kind of like an eyelash curler. So it like curls your lashes, gives them tons of length, and I use the blackest color because I like my eyelash to be very black. Totally recommend this. If you're looking for a good mascara, definitely check out the Falsies. It's very inexpensive and it's totally worth it. So... I love it. Okay, my favorite nail polish for April I'm actually wearing right now, and it is by Butter London, and it's in the shade Trout Pout. So seriously, just look at this right now. Look at how cute that is. It's like this very pretty pink corally color that is so stunning for springtime, especially if you have like a nice tan. I just think it's such a gorgeous color, and I've been repainting my nails with this color because I'm obsessed with it. I'm kind of like really into coral in general right now. Like almost everything that I've been like buying recently is coral, which is really weird, but I really love this color, and also I love the formula of Butter London Polishes. Okay, my last favorite beauty product for April is the shampoo and conditioner that I've been using, and it is the Herbal Essences Body Envy the orange one and let me just say I think I've tried every single herbal essences shampoo and conditioner out there so I know what they all smell like and in my personal opinion I think that this one smells the best but I want you to leave a comment below and let me know which one you think smells the best in my opinion this is like the best smelling one by herbal essences but I've just been using this in the month of April and it is so amazing it seriously makes my hair very soft it makes my hair smell good, it gives it strength, and it gives it a lot of volume also. And normally I like to use like higher end shampoo and conditioners, but for some reason this has been working a lot better than my high end ones, so I totally recommend checking this out. And I just can't get over how yummy it smells. Mm, it smells like summertime, or like, I don't know, like a tropical forest of like pineapples and like really yummy stuff. I don't know, but it smells good. So I really have been loving that. And that is all of my beauty favorites for April. So now we have the non-beauty favorites. Okay, so my first non-beauty favorite for April has been bracelets. So I'm actually wearing two bracelets right now. This one is actually from H&M and it is a super pretty like light pink coral beaded bracelet and it has like gold detailing and then this is just like a little pearl one from Charming Charlie. But I have like this one from Forever 21 and then this one I just got recently at H&M. It's so gorgeous. It has like pastel colors. And then also this one is from H&M and it's just like a turquoise color with gold detailing. And then these are just some cute little bangles from Charming Charlie. So yeah, just like bracelets I have been in love with. So if you know of any good stores to find some cute bracelets, then let me know in the comments. I don't know what it is. I just really have been loving my arm candy. I really love like mixing different bracelets and really like stacking them on my arms. I think it's so much fun. So that has definitely been an obsession of mine for April. And my next one beauty favorite is my pair of Sam Edelman flip flops. And I mentioned these in one of my last videos, my outfit of the day in LA that rhymed. <gasps> But they just have animal print straps. They kind of just look like ordinary flip-flops, but they are so comfortable. They have like this really nice padding all throughout the shoe, and they're so comfy to walk in. I think they're really cute too, and they go with a lot of different outfits just because this pattern kind of just goes with a lot of different things. So I've really been loving these, and they're like my favorite shoes right now, so that's that. And then my next non beauty favorite is a food, but it's a healthy food this time. It is the Planters Nutrition Omega-3 Mix. But basically it just has like walnuts and cranberries and chocolate covered soy nuts. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, it is so, so good. I've been eating this so much lately. So that's just what it looks like. I don't know what it is, but it's just like so yummy to me. I love everything in this mix and it's really good. Oh my gosh, and one more food favorite that I've been loving for April are macaroons. And if you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, then you know that I love macaroons now because I tried them for the first time in LA. And they are so good. I may put like the pictures right here. But yeah, that was my 
my first time trying macaroons and they are so, so yummy. My favorite one that I got was like a caramel one. It had like caramel filling. <gasps> so amazing. So I've really been loving macaroons and if you've ever tried them, then leave a comment below. Okay, and now it is time for my favorite song of the month, but oh my gosh, before I show you guys my favorite song of the month, I have another favorite song, but it's kind of like a wake up song that I wake up to in the morning. So I'm going to go ahead and link it below. It's from a video that One Direction posted on YouTube and I took the audio and I use it as like my wake up song in the morning. So I get to wake up to One Direction every single morning. Um, I have it on my iPod but I'm just going to go ahead and put it below. So if you want to listen to it, I will link it below. It's like the funniest thing ever. So yeah, you just have to watch that. And my favorite song this month is probably... Payphone by Maroon 5 and I don't know what it is about this song but it's just so catchy to me. I listen to it everywhere and I listen to it when I'm getting ready in the morning. It's just like my song right now and I love Maroon 5 but once that song came out like I just fell in love with it. I just thought it was so awesome. So that's my favorite song for April and I also want to know what your favorite song is so leave a comment below and let me know what your favorite songs are for April because I want to download some of your favorites. And I think that's it for my April favorites this month. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And also don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. My Instagram username is Bethany Noel M. I will have it like right here. And yeah, I've been posting like tons of random pictures on my Instagram. So if you want some random pictures, then you should definitely follow me. And also my Facebook and Twitter, I'm on there a lot also. So I think that's it. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Favorites video. Oh! <laughs> I dropped it. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. It's time to wake up in the morning. In the morning. Morning. Got McDonald's breakfast for you. You see yourself? Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Judy. <laughs> I want to do a video. Do a video. You not in it. Okay. <laughs> Hi everyone. I just decided to talk to young people because I was saying hi yesterday. All the worlds can be a possibility. Oh yeah. no, it's out of memory. I don't think you can film anymore. It's out it's it's out of memory. <laughs> yeah, see, it's all done. Oh, let me see. Really? Yeah. So Hello. we say bye. Bye. Hey guys. <laughs> so right now I'm sitting on my bed and I'm wearing a beanie today because today was just hair hates Bethany day. Plus it's like 7 o'clock in the morning right now so it's a little bit chilly and that's why I'm wearing a sweater. And you guys probably don't care. So anyways, today I'm going to be doing my September favorites. And I'm just so happy that it's finally October because Halloween is this month and that means there's going to be lots more spook book videos coming up. And after October is November and November 7th is my B-Day. So I'm pretty pumped about that too. I just love the fall time. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into my September faves. Sorry, I'm just like, I have all this energy right now and I kind of just want to like let it out in the world. So my first favorite for September has been this foundation by CoverGirl and it is the Outlast Stay Fabulous foundation with sunscreen SPF 20 and mine is in the shade 840. I seriously love this foundation so much and all I do is I just dot it all over my face and then I blend it in with a foundation brush and it just looks flawless. It feels really light on my skin and I also really love that this foundation does not look cakey at all. It just looks super natural on your skin and it feels natural so I definitely recommend this product if you're looking for a good new foundation to try out. This one is perfect and I love it. Okay, can we just hold the phone for a second here? because I was going around like crazy looking for this product and I was so sad until I finally found it. Ba -ba -da -ba. Ah. The Baby Lips Doctor Rescue. Oh my goodness. When I found out that they were coming out with new baby lips, I freaked out. And these are actually medicated lip balms, so they kind of smell like cough drops. Like I'm not even kidding you guys. Kind of smells like medicine that you take when you're sick, but that is why they're called Dr. Rescue. So I actually have really been loving these because I've been traveling a lot, and with the weather changing, my lips have been getting really gross and nasty, and they've been cracking. It's, you guys do not want to know. So I've been wearing these a lot recently, and honestly, right when I put it on, it starts to tingle, and my lips just feel amazing, and it gives a little bit of color. Next favorite makeup product for September has been this mascara. This is the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara. 
mascara and the bottle kind of reminds me of a minion just saying you open it up ba bam so this is what it looks like I don't know what it is about this mascara but it just is so amazing because I've used the regular colossal but something about this one just is a million times better like I put it on and my lashes just feel fabulous like they are ready to take on the world for eyeliner okay I got this from Target and I know it looks really weird so this is a liquid liner it's the curve liner from NYX and when I first got this I was like I'm not gonna be able to use this I am going to look like a raccoon when I'm done with this but after I used this eyeliner for the first time I was like oh I love you it was so easy to create the perfect line it's super simple so this is the liquid eyeliner that I've been using non-stop like crazy in September and I love it and it's really inexpensive too which is awesome I've also been using my Benefit Gimme Brow. Okay, I feel like I have a new favorite brow product every month, and I don't know what it is, but I have a new favorite brow product. Okay, but look at this, you guys. So basically, it is like a mascara for your eyebrows. I don't know if you guys can see, but the wand is so little. So you just brush this through your eyebrows, and it adds color. It also helps you shape them, and it keeps them in place because it's kind of like a waxy, kind of like liquidy formulation. I just throw it in my bag, and then I whip it out, and I'm like, oh yeah, give me brow. And I definitely think that this is going to be like a permanent product in my brow routine because I've never had a product like this. For my blush, I have been using the Josie Moran Coconut Watercolor Cheek Color and mine is in the shade Berry Bliss. It looks like this. And as you can tell, it's very, very sheer when you apply it. It's kind of more of like a stain and it stays on my skin for so long. So I've just been dabbing this on my cheeks and blending it up to my cheekbones and I just love this color for the fall time. My last favorite beauty product is probably one of the most amazing things ever. Ever. Our Moment Perfume by the amazing One Direction. I saw this in the store and I smelt it and honestly like if you were with me in that moment you would know where I'm coming from like it was just it was a magical moment when I first smelt this and I was like there's not even a question like I have to get this so I got it it honestly smells so good like I genuinely love the scent of this perfume and I would wear this even if it wasn't from One Direction because I just really love the scent of this Mm, it's so good. Here, you guys want some? One, two, three. You better have shimmied through that. Just saying. Okay, so now we have the non-beauty favorites. So first one, of course, I gotta start off with my food. So recently, I have been loving the Halloween Crunch. Oh my gosh. Okay, first off, it turns your milk green. I mean, come on, what's better than that? Actually, the first time that I tried this, it did not turn my milk green and I was devastated. I sat my cereal bowl there for like four hours and my milk was still white and I was very disappointed. But a few cereal bowls later, my milk was finally green. I don't know why I find that so fascinating, but the cereal is super yummy because I'm a huge sucker for Captain Crunch. So if it's Halloween themed, that's even better. So I've been eating this a lot recently. This box is seriously empty. There's like five pieces of cereal in it. Yeah. And another edible favorite of mine is the Trident Layers Candy Cane Gum, and this is actually limited edition right now, and I have no idea why, because it's like September, October, and this is something that should be out like during the holidays. The first 20 seconds of chewing this gum, it kind of tastes like fruit, which is really weird. But once you give it some time, then it has like this huge peppermint explosion in your mouth, so you guys need to try this gum if you like peppermint. It is so yummy. It's just like eating candy canes all day. Another non-beauty favorite of mine for September is actually something that I recently got in Singapore because a lot of you guys know I've been traveling so much. I just recently got back from Asia. So when I was in Singapore, I got this beautiful backpack that I just, I could not find anything like this where I live and look at it you guys this is a fox backpack how adorable is this this store I think it was called accessorize they had like tons of owl and fox stuff everywhere and every time I look at it it just makes me happy so I just had to put it in my favorites video this month oh and speaking of foxes I've also been loving my fox socks I got these from Urban Outfitters, so they're just pink, and they have foxes all over them. They are beautiful, and they're super warm and cozy because it's actually been getting pretty cold here. Well, what we consider cold in California, it's probably not that cold to some people. And the last part of my favorites, my favorite songs of the month, got my phone right here. Oh, and my home button's broken. Won't work, so that's fun.
Okay, so my first favorite song of the month has actually been Classic by, I don't remember the name of the artist, but I know it starts with an M, and I love that song to death, so I'll have it linked below, so you should definitely check it out. I've also been listening to Team by Lord non-stop. When I say non-stop, I seriously mean that. Like, I have it on repeat, and I listen to it over and over again. It's one of those songs that I have not gotten tired of, and I don't think I'm ever going to get tired of it. I've also been listening to Stop This Train by John Mayer. It's such a beautiful song. I am obsessed with John Mayer's voice. And and his music is amazing, but that by far is my favorite song of his right now. And I've also been listening to a song called The Mother We Share. I'm not sure who sings it, but I heard it on the radio and I downloaded it and I think it's such an awesome song. So those are my favorite songs of the month, which I will have linked below, like I always say. They'll be right down there, so you can go listen to them and rock out and have a little dance party. And of course, like all my favorites videos, I'm going to be giving away a few of my faves this month. So, I bet you guys can guess. I bet you can guess. I'm going to be giving away three of the new Dr. Rescue Baby Lips. So you're going to get Just Peachy, Coral Crave, and Berry Soft. Also, my favorite mascara this month, which is the Colossal Smoky Eyes. So if you would like to win these goodies, all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below telling me some of your favorites for the month of September. And like always, the winner from the previous month will be in the description bar below, so I'm going to have last month's winner down there so you can just check it out. So that is about it for my September favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I love you, and I will talk to you in my next video. Computer hogs! <coughs> I think I just sneezed up a lung. One second. I'm really hungry. I could go for some tacos at 7 o'clock in the morning. Sure, why not? Ah, got my cereal. Who is it? She's sleepy. Say hi. Hi. <gasps> she's ignoring you guys. <laughs> she's being sassy this morning. Oh, look it. Look it! Look, it's Barney! Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my September favorites because it is now officially October. But I am happy that it's October because that means it's fall time and Halloween is this month. And also my birthday is next month. It's November 7th, so I'm really excited for that too. So I'm just really pumped that it's October right now, you know? And as you guys can tell, I painted my wall. It is now white. And a lot of you guys guessed white, which is really cool. A lot of you guys also said pink. And then some of you were like green and purple and orange and all these crazy colors. But I decided to go with white. And the two side walls in my room are pink, so it's like pink and then one white wall, you know, so I really like it, and yeah, so I just wanted to mention that, but now I'm going to show you guys my September favorites, and I really want to know what your guys' September favorites are, so leave a video response below and let me know what yours are, or you can just like tweet me or leave a comment and be like, yo, Bethany, I've been loving this for September. Okay, anyways, I have my little tray right here with my favorites in it, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so first two favorites could not fit on my tray, but these are the Tresemme Split Remedy Shampoo and Conditioner. You guys know I used to use the Bedhead Shampoo, and that worked really well for me. I liked it, but then I ran out and I was like, you know what, I'm going to try a less expensive shampoo and conditioner and see how it works. So I got this one by Tresemme, and oh my gosh, you guys. This has helped my hair so, so much. It made it a lot softer. It makes it smell really nice. And also, I don't wash my hair every day. I wash it every other day. So this keeps my hair cleaner for a lot longer than the Bedhead one did. Plus, just for the shampoo from Bedhead, it was $15. And for both of these together, it was $10. So that's pretty awesome. I've been loving these guys lately. And you guys know I love to smell stuff. And this smells so good. Like, seriously, I think you guys would love this. Just smell that, guys. Mm, isn't it so good? I know. So yummy. Next favorite is my L'Oreal True Match Healthy Luminous Makeup, and this is a liquid foundation. It comes in a little pump like this, as you can tell, and I love this foundation because it's really, really light on my skin. Like, literally, it feels like I'm putting on a moisturizer, but it gives the coverage of a really nice foundation, and also it has, like, this glowy sheen to it, so it looks a lot more natural on your skin than if you were to wear, like, a matte foundation, so I've been using that a lot for September. And then for eyeshadow in September, literally, I have been using these palettes like crazy. 
They're the e.l.f. Little Black Beauty books, and I got them at Target, of course. Where else, guys? So this is the first one that I discovered at Target. So when you open it up, it basically has a huge variety of different eyeshadows. And I was actually surprised when I found out that the quality of these shadows is incredible. They're very pigmented, and I think this palette was like 5 or $10. It's either 5 or 10 And then this one I discovered, and I was like, they made a second one? So this palette is a little bit more colorful as you can tell and I've been using like these colors a lot of course like the non-color ones in the palette. But I think that these palettes are great because you get a nice variety of colors and you can create all different kinds of looks and they're really handy because they're like small and compact they're not like huge palettes. So I totally recommend these palettes. I cannot stress enough how much I love these. They are awesome. And next I've been using my Charlotte Ronson 2 times a charm blush and bronzer duo. So obviously one side is a blush and one side is a bronzer but normally I've just been using the blush lately. I use the bronzer sometimes, but I really love this blush color. It's like kind of a corally pink with a little bit of shimmer. So what I do is I just like blend this onto the apples of my cheeks and then I blend it out with my fingers and it just gives me like this natural flush to my cheeks that I really like. Okay, for lips, I have two favorite lip products. The first one is my Rosebud Lip Salve. I feel like I've showed this to you guys so many times, but honestly, this is like one of my makeup essentials and if I can only choose like one product to use for the rest of my life, it would be the this right here it's super sheer when you put it on your lips but it still gives me like a little tint of like a natural pink color it's so moisturizing it makes your lips very very soft and also you can use this on other places besides your lips it says chapped lips skin diaper rash whoa there um, blemishes detergent burns and rough cuticles and also to rough hands so I just think it's a really nice all-in-one moisturizing product but I mainly only use it on my lips I mean I don't have diaper rashes or anything. And my second favorite lip product for September is the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain. You guys know I love these, but this color, it's in the shade Sweetheart, and basically it's like a really pretty bright pink. It's just so pretty. I just look at it, I'm like, <gasps> but yeah, I wore this in my last video, which was my Walgreens Target haul, so I really have been loving this product. Okay, next favorite, oh my gosh, this is actually, I have one more lip product for you guys. Okay. Now, I don't even put this on my lips, but it is a lip product, and it's a favorite of mine because of the smell. It's a little owl! And if you open up his little butt right here, you have a lip balm, and it smells like apples and cinnamon. It's just like fall time in an owl's butt. It's so good. My mom actually picked this out for me, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute! So I actually didn't even know it was a lip balm, and then I got it, and I just thought it was so yummy smelling. So I basically just keep this to smell it and I just think it's really cute as well. Next favorite is a hand sanitizer by Bath & Body Works because you gotta sanitize your hands guys. You know you gotta kill those germs. So it's from the Bath & Body Works Halloween collection and I think it's the cutest one ever because it's Goal Friend. Look at that. It's a little skull and it says Goal Friend. Is that not the most adorable thing ever? Like I thought it was really cute. So it's very scented and it's purple and it has like little blue beads so I've been using this to sanitize my hands. I have a lot of different hand sanitizers but this one is my favorite fave right now. Okay, and this next favorite my mom got for me when she was at the mall. She came home and gave it to me, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to smell that and try it out. So I think it's a new scent from Victoria's Secret. It's Midnight Dare. So I smelt it, and I literally fell in love. I was like head over heels in love with the scent. It's so yummy. It's supposed to smell like raspberry and sandalwood, and I just think it smells so delicious. It's like really sweet smelling, and it's just an amazing scent. So if you have not tried this yet from Victoria's Secret, you should definitely check it out and smell it, and let me know what you think, because because I really want the full size of this now. It's like my favorite scent. Okay, now it is time for the non-beauty favorite. So first non-beauty favorite of September is my trick-or-treat candle from Yankee Candle. Yay! So this is what it looks like. It kind of looks like a candy corn or something like that. But it's supposed to smell like candy corn and buttercream. It's a very sweet scent. You guys probably know by now, I really like sweet smelling things. And this is one of the sweetest candles that I've ever had. I really love candy corn. It's like my favorite Halloween candy ever. So mixed with buttercream, it's like magic. So I've been loving this candle. It's really delicious smelling and it has little trick or treat bags on it, which is really cute. So that's my favorite candle for September. I have two fashion favorites for September. The first ones are these boots that are from Aldo when I was shopping there recently. So you actually can't tell, but these have a wedge in them like the wedge starts right here but it almost looks like they're not even wedges when I'm just holding them up but I really love the pattern on the back of these it's kind of like tribal print and I really love wearing these with skinny jeans and a cute knit top and everything so
So those are my favorite shoes right now. I just think they're so adorable. And then my other fashion favorite for September has been skirts, just like tons of skirts in general. I've really been loving. So you guys saw this one already in my fall inspiration video. It's from Urban Outfitters. And I really love pairing this skirt with like boots. That's like my favorite thing to pair with it. And then this skirt I just got recently. This one's from Forever 21. It has like this cool flower patterns, like really colorful. So just like skirts in general, I've really been enjoying. I really like high-waisted skirts and I like pairing them with like sneakers and boots. I don't know why, but I like pairing skirts with really casual shoes. Another Norbiti favorite, um, I actually ate it all. It's bottle caps. Here's the wrapper. I have proof to you guys. And yeah, bottle caps are like my obsession, but I can never find them like in stores. I only find them like during Halloween time. So that's really sad, but I have been obsessed with bottle caps lately. I think that's all my food favorites this month. That's like really surprising. Oh no wait, I have one more. It's actually on my table back here. It's kind of really gross now because I got it this morning. I don't even want to like give you guys a close up of that. But it is a caramel macchiato from Starbucks. And I always get extra caramel and I get it iced because I don't like it hot. I like it iced. But yeah, I have been obsessed with caramel macchiatos from Starbucks. They're my favorite drink from there. So you should definitely try them out. But yeah, it looks super gross now, so we don't need to look at that. Okay, now for my favorite song of the month. I have my phone back here. But I'm going to narrow it down to three songs for you guys, just so we're not going to be here for like an hour. Anyways, my first one is Hey LA by Ryan Beatty. Oh my goodness, that song. I rock out to it in the car like every single day. Like I have it on repeat all the time. <laughs> So yeah, that's my first favorite one. My second favorite one is Ready or Not by Bridget Mendler. I think that's going to be my favorite one out of all of them this month. Like, out of all my favorite songs, that's, like, the top. Like, oh my goodness. That song is amazing. I heard it on Disney Channel because, yes, I still watch Disney Channel, you know. But it's just a really, really fun song, and I like the music video as well, so I'll make sure to link that below so you can check it out. I don't think you guys are going to guess this one. Like, I honestly don't think you guys know that I'm obsessed with this song. I think I've been pretty good about keeping my obsession under wraps, you know? Yes, Live While We're Young by One Direction. That song, the music video, like I heard the song and then I watched the music video and then I was like, I'm sold. I, this is like the most amazing song ever. So those are my three favorite songs of the month and those are all of my September favorites, I think. Yep, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm really excited because I'm about to leave to go watch Pitch Perfect. I've been tweeting about it because I love the trailer. I've literally watched the trailer like probably over a hundred times. So yeah, I'm gonna go watch that and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye! Mmm, better not. It's really gross. I literally got it this morning. Should I drink it? No, I'm totally kidding. I would never do that. Maybe if I was like on a game show and the prize was One Direction, then I'd do it. But not now. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What was that? Oh my gosh. So I may or may have not gotten in the Christmas spirit a little bit early. As you guys can tell, I got some Christmas decorations going on behind me because, okay, I took all of my Halloween and fall decorations down out of my room because Halloween is over and I just decided that my room looked really sad and really plain. So I was like, you know what? Let's just go with it. I'm just going to start decorating for Christmas now. So I have a few or a little bit more than a few Christmas decorations up right now. And I know it is a little early, I'm aware, but... This is just to get us excited and in the Christmas spirit because Christmas is literally next month. I mean, that's blowing my mind. So if you guys want to start decorating right now, then send me pictures. And if you guys want to see more Christmas decorations as I continue to decorate my room, I could do more videos on that. But today I'm doing my October favorites because October is officially over. So it's time for me to show you guys what I've been loving. Oh, and by the way, if you were wondering, this spot right here, I actually just burned myself with a curling iron right before this. So... That's a curling iron burn, nothing else. Just burn my flesh, no big deal. Okay, so the first thing that I have been loving for October is these makeup wipes. I actually got these at Sephora because I was in need of makeup wipes and I just asked the lady, I was like, do you have any makeup wipes for me to buy because I cannot find any in this store? And she was like, these. And I was like, okay. So they are the Josie Moran Bare Naked Makeup Wipes. And let me just tell you guys, these are by far some of the best makeup wipes I've ever used. Now the cool thing about these makeup wipes is when you buy a pack of these, a 
portion of the sales go to the foundation for protecting the polar bears, which I think is so cool. So that's definitely a great thing about these is you're helping out the polar bears and you're getting some nice makeup wipes. And honestly, one of these wipes removes all of my makeup. I never have to grab a second one, which I've had to with other ones. So I love these and I definitely recommend them if you're looking for some good makeup wipes. Next thing I've been using like crazy is this Dior Skin Air Flash Spray Foundation. Now this is another product that's kind of on the pricier side, but honestly, I'm so glad that I invested in this product. Sometimes I forget to put the cap back on my liquid foundation that didn't have a spray and it'd get bacteria, cause me to break out. So this has helped my skin so much, just having a foundation that is really enclosed in a can that no bacteria can get into it. They also sell spray foundations like this at the drugstore, so I just have been loving this one. It looks amazing. It feels super light on my skin and I love it although it does kind of smell like an inhaler or something next up my Revlon Colorstay Pressed Powder, and this is actually a translucent powder because normally I get like the colored powders that are like medium or light, medium, deep, all that stuff, but this one is a powder that basically no matter what skin tone you are, you can use it because it's kind of like a colorless powder, I guess. So I have been loving this to set my foundation and my concealer, best powder I've ever used. Mwah. And for my cheeks, recently I've been using the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Blush. This is in the shade, oh my gosh, the tag is like destroyed in the back, but it just says plum. That's the only thing I can read, it says plum, and it looks like this. So it is just like a plummy pink color. It's really pretty for the fall and winter time, so I just get my blush brush dusted on my cheeks. Flawless. And for my lips, I've been using this product that I recently discovered from Maybelline. And okay, it looks like a lipstick. There's clear packaging and it looks just like a lipstick, but you twist this. What? So it's actually a kind of like a liquid lipstick in my opinion. It reminds me of a lip gloss, but also a lipstick slash lip balm at the same time. And oh my goodness, these things are amazing. They have a bunch of colors. I'm wearing one right now. And they're just really smooth on your lips. They're super moisturizing. They don't dry out your lips and they smell absolutely amazing. Ah, they smell like sugar and marshmallows and happiness and love. Like, I don't know. They just, they smell really good. So yeah, I've been loving these and just throwing these in my bag because they are awesome. I discovered this product recently and I just love how it makes my lashes look. It's the Lash Out Butterfly. And this is from, I think it's from L'Oreal. So the wand on this is super cool. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like going all crazy and there's like all these different size bristles on it. It's pretty insane. And whenever I put this on my lashes, it just gives them this really unique look that no mascara has ever given my lashes. It separates them and it makes them super long and luscious. So I totally recommend checking out the Butterfly Mascara from L'Oreal. Okay, and there's a body product I've been using recently that has been making my skin smell so good. It is the Olay Silky Berry Cleansing Body Wash. And can we just talk about how big this container is? I mean, look at it compared to my head. It is huge. It's ginormous. So I really love this body wash because number one, it smells so good. It's like berries and sugar and it's very smooth on my skin. So I just take my big old loofah and I just drench it in this and then I just wash my whole body with it. I don't know why I just described that to you guys because I'm sure you guys know how to use body wash. I kind of like it better than a lot of my Bath and Body Works body washes. I don't know what it is. This one just moisturizes my skin and it makes my skin feel like a baby's bottom when I get out of the shower. So been loving that. Favorite nail polish for the month of October has been this color that I'm actually wearing on my nails right now. It's by China Glaze and it is in the shade Perfect Plum. It is just a creamy purpley plum color and this is one of my favorite colors to wear for the fall and winter time. I like that there's no glitter or shimmer. It's just like very pure and creamy looking. So I have been wearing this a lot and repainting my nails with this color a lot and it is like my favorite color to wear on my nails right now. Next favorite has been these boots. I got these at H&M like, I think like two months ago, and I love them to death. So what I really like about these is they have fur inside, and it's like you're just walking around with this furry blanket that's just covering your feet and making them so comfy. And also I think they're pretty fashionable on the outside. They're just like worker boots, and I've been wearing these basically with everything, jeans, skirts, dresses, all that kind of stuff. I've definitely been getting my money out of these, and I totally recommend picking up a pair if you find them at H&M. They are like all I've been wearing lately. Seriously, I wore them to a haunted house on Halloween. And I wore them in the hay and in a forest. And they were very trustworthy. These are like my babies. They've been through a lot. The Goldfish Grams Hot Cocoa. And when I first saw this, I was like, wait, hot chocolate goldfish? What? Until I figured out that they're basically just graham crackers that taste like hot chocolate. 
<laughs> I think her name is Coral. That's what it says. Coral. Coral's favorite quote is, adventure is waiting around every corner. That's pretty deep, Coral. You're a deep person. Anyway, these are super yummy, and I can just, I cannot get enough of these, so... You better get some now because I'm probably going to buy them all, just saying. And the next thing I've been loving are the Kraft Jet Puffed, Jet, Jet, Jet Puffed, sorry about that, Marshmallow Bits. So they're basically just like little mini marshmallows. I don't know, maybe I can get one out for you guys. Yay! You can probably barely see this. It's like itty bitty. So what I do is whenever I make hot chocolate, I literally just pour a bunch into my hot chocolate and it's like half hot chocolate, half mini marshmallows. It's the best thing ever. It's kind of like the Lucky Charm marshmallows, like the marshmallows you get in Lucky Charms. That's like this. It's amazing. Now, I'm sure you guys know by now that I love beanies for the colder months. My favorite beanie recently has been this bad boy. It's my little pony beanie that I got from H&M. So I've been wearing this to keep my head warm. Obviously not with this outfit because it doesn't really look right. But I've been wearing this beanie a lot along with my fox beanie, which I love as well. Next favorite for the month of October is something that kind of goes along with the Christmas theme in my room, which I know it's a little early, but I've just been loving this while I've been decorating for Christmas. Since Sickles from Target. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, I'm gonna open it up so I can show you guys what they look like. So basically, they're just green sticks and you can hang them on your tree or just like set them around your room like I do and they smell literally like a Christmas tree. Like I feel like I'm at a Christmas tree farm right now, but I'm not. I'm in my bedroom and it smells like Christmas trees in here. So I love these to death. They're perfect if you don't like to get real Christmas trees. You get fake ones like I do. You can just put these all around your room and then people walk in and they're just like, bam, kicked in the throat by Christmas tree scent. I don't know if that's a good thing. I think it's a good thing because I love the smell of Christmas trees. So been loving these. And another item that I've been getting into, to tell you guys the truth, I may or may not have started buying these about a month ago. White peppermint mochas from Starbucks. Oops. I don't really care because these are amazing. I could drink white peppermint mochas all year long because they are delicious and I'm not gonna stop. We can't stop. And yeah, so those are all of my favorite, like, item object favorites. Now we have music favorites, so I got my phone right here. So my first favorite song has been Story of My Life by One Direction. My little heart just could not take that song when I first listened to it, and I still can't take it. It makes me die of feels, so yeah. has been my jam recently. I just think it's kind of different from anything the boys have done so far. It's like very deep and very emotional and amazing. It's just, I love that. So I've been listening to Story of My Life a bunch recently. I've also been listening to a bunch of Lord songs because Lord is absolutely amazing. My favorite song from her right now would probably be Tennis Court. If you've not heard it, I will have a link to it below so you can listen to it. And can we please, please, Talk about Katy Perry's new album. Oh my gosh, it is perfection. I just ah, can't handle it. So my favorite song from Katy Perry's new album right now is Double Rainbow. I love that song. All the songs are amazing though and I've been listening to the whole album on repeat, but Double Rainbow is by far my favorite song off of Katy's new album. So I'll have a link to all my favorite songs this month down below so you can go listen to them. Also, I want to know what you guys thought about Ravenswood and the Halloween episode of Pretty Little Liars because I watched it in my bedroom at night alone in the dark and I just about had a heart attack. And Ravenswood is really creeping me out. Like, who is that creepy woman? Like, what does she want with them? I don't, I don't, I don't know. And in this video, I'm going to be giving away two of my faves this month. So I decided to give away the Dior Skin Air Flash Foundation just because I know this is a super pricey product. And I'm also going to give away my favorite makeup wipes this month. Obviously, the winner is going to get two new products. And whoever wins, you'll have to email me with what shade you are in the foundation. So if you would like to win these goodies, all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below telling me some of your favorite items for the month of October. And I also want to know what you guys were for Halloween, so you can leave both of those comments below or just one below however many you would like to and then I'm gonna pick one random person in the comments to win some of my favorites all right so I hope you guys enjoyed my October favorites I love you and I'll talk to you guys later bye what does the fox say not gonna do it sorry I just drank something really gooey let's hope it was just like a chunk of coffee or something
Sometimes I think maybe I shouldn't decorate so early for Christmas, but then I think about it and I'm like, mmm, better not. Okay. Ew! I just drank another gooey thing. Okay, I'm settling this right now. <sighs> That's what I thought. It's just like a little... Today I'll be showing you guys my October favorites and make sure to let me know what yours are below. going to be doing my October favorites. I almost said August. I don't know why. And I am drinking, can you guys guess what this is? White peppermint mocha from Starbucks. Look guys, they have Christmas cups now. But anyways, I'm really happy that it's November because if you guys know me, then you know November and December are my two favorite months of the year because there's Christmas and there's Thanksgiving and just all the holidays, which I love. I'm a big holiday person. And my birthday is November 7th and it's coming so close. I can't believe that I'm not gonna be 16 anymore. And I actually have a really cool announcement. So on my birthday, I wanted to like spend it with you guys because you guys are like my friends. and how how can you not spend your birthday with your friends? So I'm going to be doing a live blog TV show on November 7th, my birthday. So it'll be 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So you can figure out like what time that is where you live by like searching it or something. But it's going to be 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I'm so excited about it. If you don't know what blog TV is, basically it's where like you guys can see me and you can write in the little chat room and then I can like talk to you guys. So basically it's like web chat like with all of us together and it's going to be so much fun. So I'm really excited to share that part of my birthday with you guys and I'm also going to be having a meetup sometime this month. I wanted to have it on my birthday but I thought it'd be cool to have the blog TV on my birthday and then kind of like a birthday meetup sometime later this month. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get into my October favorites and show you guys everything that I have been loving for the month of October. A liquid foundation. This is the Smashbox High Definition Healthy FX Foundation and I used to use the Makeup Forever HD Foundation but when I was at Ulta, I was getting my brows did and the lady that was doing my brows was like, have you tried the Smashbox HD foundation? I was like, no. She's like, you should try it. And I was like, okay. So I got it and I have been absolutely loving this foundation. It gives you really nice coverage and I don't wear this foundation every day just because I normally prefer to wear like BB creams and tinted moisturizers because they're a lot lighter. But when I want something that gives me a little bit more coverage, I have been using this and I really recommend it. It's definitely worth the investment. It just looks so flawless on your skin. It feels really light and comes in a pump container. So I've been using this a lot in October and I love it. And I'm also a big bronzer fan and you guys know I used to use Nars Laguna then I used the Too Faced like hot chocolate one. It smelled like hot chocolate but lately I have been using my Milani bronzer. It's the Bronzer XL All Over Glow. I got it at Target that's not a surprise. One side is darker and one side is lighter, but what I do is I just take my bronzer brush and I just like swirl it in there and apply it to my face and it just gives me a really nice bronzy glow. It doesn't have a lot of glitter or shimmer and it kind of just warms up your skin tone a little bit. It doesn't make you look like snooky or anything like that. Don't worry. So I've really been loving this bronzer. Okay, my next favorite lip product for October has been this lip product that I was wearing in my last video and I got a lot of questions about it. It's the Revlon Lip Butter in Red Velvet and I really like the name of it because I love red velvet cake and I know that this looks like a really dramatic color and it is pretty intense when I first saw it I was like oh, I cannot wear that but what I do is I just apply a little bit to my lips I just like dab it on and then I blend it in with my fingers and it just looks perfect it's not too dramatic but I think it's a really nice kind of deeper color to switch it up for the fall and winter for nail polish okay so Essie just recently came out with their holiday 2012 nail polishes but these two have been my two ultimate favorites out of the collection this one is Butler please and it's just like a really bold blue color so I've been wearing this one a lot and then this one I'm actually wearing today and it is in the shade she's pampered and it's kind of like a raspberry red color and I just think it's so adorable I love red nails for the fall and winter okay next thing I've been loving for October is Taylor Swift's enchanted perfume this is the second perfume that she's come out with it's in the red bottle with the little charms and oh my gosh okay guys <sighs> This smells like magic. It smells like fairy dust. It smells like a fairy tale. That's what it is. It's like fairy tale in a bottle. Um, I really like this perfume though. It just smells really good. It's very sweet, but it's not overpowering. And I just like it better than her first perfume. I like it better than basically all of my perfumes right now. This is like my signature scent and I love it. So I like spray three sprays and then I shimmy through it, you know, and I'm good to go. Okay, last favorite beauty products for October before we get into the non-beauty favorites. It's a 10. I got this at Ulta a few 
few weeks ago and it's a miracle leave-in product and let me tell you guys this really is like a miracle so basically it does 10 different things for your hair it repairs dry damaged hair adds shine detangles controls frizz enhances natural body and it's a flat iron and spray protectant so I really like to apply this to my hair before I apply any heat like straightening it or curling it and it just makes my hair so soft it protects it and it's just an awesome product that has definitely become an essential hair product for me and I use it pretty much every day now. Okay, so that's it for my beauty favorites and now I'm going to show you guys the non-beauty favorites because Beth can't do a favorites video without showing you guys the random things I've been loving. So the first one, since it's been getting colder here now that it's fall time, I've been wearing tons of thermals because they just keep me warm, but I don't like to wear like the plain solid colored thermals, so I've been into like cool kind of fashionable ones. So this one I got at a store called Angle. It's just like tan and it has all of this gorgeous bedazzlement on the shoulders. It's so beautiful. So I really love this one. And then this one I got at Target and it's just blue and then it has like little green birds all over it I think this one is so cute But yeah, I've been loving both of these thermals and just like kind of more fashionable thermals in general So if you guys know where to get cute thermals then let me know in the comments because I definitely want to find some more for fall and winter And of course I have been loving my fake Doc Martens from H&M Oh, yeah I just can still not get over the fact that these were like 30 35 dollars for like velvet looking Doc Martens. I think it's insane. I've still been wearing these like every day. I wore them last night and I just love them. And I was shopping in H&M the other day and I found kind of like the more classic looking Doc Martens. They're just like black faux leather. So I've just been loving both my fake Doc Martens. I've been wearing them like crazy and I think they're amazing. Okay, and I've also been obsessed with these Starbucks Frappuccinos. They're like their chilled coffee drinks that come in the glass containers. But I only get the vanilla flavor because I don't like the regular flavor. And I've never tried the caramel one, but I just really like the vanilla ones. They are so delicious. And I don't drink them every day, but sometimes I go to bed really late and then I wake up really early and I'm like a dead zombie. So I just get one of these out of the fridge and I'm like, bam, energy! And they just taste delicious. And if you have not tried them, I totally recommend them because they are my addiction. Actually, I don't recommend them because you might get addicted like me so at your own will you know you can try and I have a favorite gum for October it is the extra dessert delights root beer float gum and I've heard of these gums for a really long time but I never tried them then I saw the root beer float one and I was like huh I like root beer float so I'm gonna try it and it actually tastes so so good I was very 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 surprised I don't taste that much float in it though I mainly taste like the root beer but overall it's just a really really good gum and I think they should come out with like snow cone flavor or like oh, white peppermint mocha flavor guys I would die but yeah, I've definitely been loving this gum for October, and I totally recommend trying it out because it's pretty good. Okay, now it is time for my favorite songs of the month. Here's my phone. It has spikes on it. So guys, if there's someone out there that is giving you a hard time, you can borrow my phone case. No, I'm kidding. Anyways, I'm going to go through my playlist and pick my favorite songs. Okay, so first off, if you follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you know that I'm obsessed with Taylor Swift's new album, Red. It is absolutely perfection. It's so amazing, and I basically love every song in the album, and my favorites change constantly. But one of my favorites from the album right now is... <laughs> pretty darn awesome. So I've been listening to that one a lot. I've also been listening to 22. Oh my gosh, I love that one as well. Oh my gosh, and the last time, that song, it's very slow, but I just think it's such a beautiful song. I listen to that one on repeat all the time. And another song I've been loving, you guys know already, Little Things by One Direction. Oh my goodness. So at first when I heard that song, I wasn't really paying attention to the lyrics. I was just listening to like the tune of it. But when I started paying attention to the lyrics, I was like, this is really such a meaningful and amazing song. And I heard they didn't write the song Song, but I still gained so much respect for them just for singing a song like that and sending out that message I just respect them so much more now and I just think it's an awesome song and their voices sound so amazing in it might I say goodness and my last favorite song for October is kind of embarrassing and I really don't want to tell you guys what it is but whatever I'm just gonna do it I've already been listening to Mistletoe by Justin Bieber and I have no shame. I'm just really excited for the holidays this year and I've been listening to his whole Christmas album actually already, which is kind of crazy, but I'm just like a holiday dork like that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my October favorites. Let me know what you think in the comments. I have more videos coming soon and get excited for my birthday vlog TV on November 7th at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And also I will make sure to give you guys more details on my meetup coming up in a few weeks because I cannot wait to meet you guys. 
So anyways, I think I'm gonna go now. And I love you guys for infinity. Infinity and beyond. Okay, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. And I just got sugar high. I literally just had way too much candy. White peppermint mocha. White peppermint mocha in the house. Raise the roof. Raise the roof. Okay. I don't have swag. Yeah, I totally carved my pumpkin to look like Jack Skellington. He's missing a tooth. That's not my fault. I mean, I just picked him up and it fell out, so. Sorry, Jackie. Looks like you need to go to the dentist now. I think paranormal activity is going on in my room. <gasps> Ghosts better not come up in my house acting like they pay rent, cause I ain't going for that paranormal activity stuff. Ghosty, if I may call you that. Speak to us. You are so beautiful to me. To wear like the solid colored thermal, thermal. Why can't I say that? Thermers, the thermers. Let's just call them thermers. These are thermers. They're not thermals anymore. They're thermers.